glaciers. Glaciers are often called ice rivers because they flow across the land. They form when snow accumulates faster than it melts. As the snow collects, the top layers put pressure on the bottom layers, turning them into ice. Gravity pulls the glacier downwards, and as it moves, it scrapes across the land, collecting trees, rocks, and other debris. Glaciers usually move slowly, sometimes less than an inch per day, but they can also travel several feet each day. Gravity pulls the top layers of a glacier faster than the bottom layers because friction between the rough ground and the glacier slows it down. During basal sliding, the entire glacier moves as a single mass because melting at the glacier base creates a layer of liquid water that reduces the friction along the ground. Basal sliding doesn't happen all of the time. It's most common along steep slopes. Glaciers always move downhill, but the edge of the glacier, called the terminus or snout, retreats or advances depending on the rate of snow accumulation and ablation. During accumulation, snow is added to the glacier. Ablation includes all of the ways snow and ice leave the glacier, including evaporation, melting, and calving. Calving is when small pieces of a glacier break off. When calving happens near the ocean, icebergs form. There are two types of glaciers. Alpine glaciers form in mountains where snow falls during the winter and cool summers prevent the snow from melting. Alpine glaciers are currently found on every continent on Earth, except for Australia. The Gorner Glacier in Switzerland and the Furtwangler Glacier in Tanzania are examples of alpine glaciers. Ice sheets, or continental glaciers, are massive glaciers that occupy more than 19,305 square miles, or 50,000 square kilometers. Ice sheets form broad domes and spread in every direction. Today, ice sheets only exist in Antarctica and Greenland. During the last ice age, ice sheets extended across North America and Europe, covering around one-third of the land on Earth. An ice sheet smooths the land under it, but alpine glaciers carve striking geographical features into the earth. Glaciers create arete, cirques, and horns on, the mount on mountains as they scrape away the land they move across. When glaciers retreat, they leave behind massive boulders called glacial erratics. The Big Rock in Alberta, Canada is an example of a glacial erratic carried over 500 miles during the last ice age. Moraines are dark bands of debris that form within glaciers. When the glaciers retreat, the rock, gravel, and dirt of the moraines are left behind. Glaciers also form valleys and lakes. Lake Washington, in Seattle, Washington, was created by a retreating glacier from the Pleistocene epoch. Glaciers are helpful to humans. Snowmelt from glaciers provides fresh water for billions of people. For example, the Ganga Tree Glacier in the Himalayan mountains feeds the Ganges River that runs through India. Also, the dirt of the left-behind moraines is good for growing crops. The fertile land of the Great Plains of North America comes from glaciers of the past. While glaciers are helpful, they are also dangerous. Crevasses formed by the cracking upper layers of the glaciers create treacherous terrain for mountain climbers. Avalanches can also form on glaciers, threatening animals and people on the glacier. When glaciers melt rapidly, they can cause massive floods. In 1941, a superglacial lake in the Andes Mountains broke through the glacier ice and flooded Juarez, Peru, killing thousands of people. The calving of glaciers along the ocean creates icebergs that are deadly to ships. On April 15, 1912, the Titanic struck an iceberg and sank, killing 1,503 people. Today, most of the glaciers on Earth are retreating due to higher global temperatures. Melting glaciers are adding water to the Earth's oceans, raising sea levels, and changing the water's salinity. These changes are dangerous for both humans and animals. But someday, when the Earth cools, the glaciers will form again.